In the 1980s, a system called the Pomodoro Technique was developed, and it was developed by another Francesco, not me, the other one. And in this video, we're going to give you the best Pomodoro timer apps and briefly explain the concept so that you can use it. The system is used by millions of people every single day because it's approachable, easy, which helps them to get more done at work and in life. So I think it's important to start with what the concept is. The Pomodoro Technique is developed around three parts. The first is a 25 minute timer. Now this essentially gets you into the state of work and is meant to be uninterrupted focused time. So whether you're cleaning your house or whether you're doing some work, this time it is meant to be set with no one distracting you. Then after you have a planned five minute break. Now this 25 minute timer plus this five minute break is called a cycle. It's a Pomodoro cycle and you can have up to four cycles until you need a longer break. Now the design of this is very simple. You have a focus period of time, but you have a planned break, allowing you to have all of the interruptions and distractions that you need to have, but then get back into a structured area. You complete more pomos, you get more done. After four pomos, you have a longer break of over 20 minutes or whatever suitable for you. The system is really simple and there are timer apps that can help you to get more done. So I've put together some of the ones I think are well worth it across all devices and that are fun and interactive. So if you're exploring productivity tools, we'd love to help you find more over on toolfinder.co. It's the best place to find productivity tools. We're the creators of it. So if you do want to subscribe, that would also be fantastic. Um, I'm the other Francesca in the productivity space, so uh, it'd be great to teach you all the best apps and tools on the market. So let's dive into the list. My first uh, recommendation list is Focus Keeper. Now I found this one to be the probably the ultimate all-rounder. It is available on iOS and Android and also has a web version too. The app I would say is very broad, allowing you to start a timer and has loads of customizations and flexibilities to design it how you like. You can set up recurring tasks, see your calendar, and also use a very visual timer on the web that fills up as you use it, which is great for those with ADHD or neurodivergence to help see progress over time. This one I say is probably the best all rounder and just seems to meet the most needs for on the go usage. So number two is called Otto. Now I have a son called Otto, so I'm a little bit biased about the name. I think it's a wicked name, but the app is really good for Chrome browsers. So if you've got a Chrome or you use Chrome extensions, you'll love this one because what Otto does is helps you block websites, but also have unlimited Pomodoro tracking. Now this is really nice. There is a premium feature which helps you to do task management as well, but at the same time, the idea idea of being able to have pomos and distraction blocking in one is great. There's also a thing called a health score. So each time you use Otto uh, and you go on a website like Twitter or Pinterest or something you've blocked as a distraction, then what it will do is it will damage your health score and you can build up your health score by completing pomos. It's quite a nice, fun, simple concept. And the premium has even more features like workflows and auto blocking, which help you to set limits for time on certain websites, which is a very helpful thing in today's busy world. So if you've got a Chrome browser and you use it daily, Otto's a really good option. Also one note on Otto, it's actually really reasonably priced. I think their lifetime's around $60, which isn't crazy. Um, their yearly is about $25 roughly, and that's not too bad either. Um, some of these apps are typically between $30 and $35 per year, which is, seems to be the standard or the more premium pricing for uh, those uh, top time Pomodoro timers. So my next recommendation is one, if you're a Mac user, it also comes on iOS called Session. Now I love this one because it is simple. It's beautiful to look at, it's minimal. You can start a timer and get going. But I think the different things about this app is that you can take notes whilst you're on the timer. You can also use analytics to see where you spent your time, mood tracking, and all of the notes that you've had. Sort of like a diary of your day, it's sort of journal-esque thing. And there are also some breathing techniques in this before you start to help you get into the zone and focus. So I would say this is great for those who want sort of like a time audit slash analytics of all of the things you've been doing. I know a lot of people like that so that they can make improvements to how they work. But I think it's a beautiful app, simple, and it also comes as part of this set app subscription or you can buy it individually. It's on the higher end of the spectrum in pricing, $39.99 per year, which is a little bit steeper than some of the other ones. But I would say this is probably the best Pomodoro timer on Mac. So number four is Toggle Track. 
Now, this one is great if you have clients or projects or you're a freelancer. Um, it has a Pomodoro method and system built into it, which means you can actually use the extension to start a Pomodoro uh, session and get going. And it's all designed around that. It's not just sort of uh, shapes or like, or just rough. It's actually very well built. But the benefit with Toggle Track that you get with other applications you don't get is more the essence of tracking your time, automatically tracking your time, assigning them to projects, invoicing clients, proposals and things like that. It's sort of more like an ultimate time tracker that has Pomodoro in it. So if you're looking for something more serious that's on all devices cross platform, then it's well worth checking out Toggle Track. It's a little bit pricier, but it does come with a free plan, which gives you access to the Pomodoro tracker with no limits. Um, you can, I believe, track it all the limits, uh, all the time, but there are limits when it comes to features. So number five is one that I discovered a few months ago. It's called Pomo Focus, and it's only available on iOS. This one's quite fun. So it's sort of like Forest, but designed around Pomodoro timer. You can start the cycle, and essentially what you can do in this app is you can move the screen and all of the tomatoes fall to the side. They look like orange. I don't know why. But at the same time, it's a really fun and interactive app if you want to start building how many tomatoes you've got in your, I guess, home screen. Because each time you do a session, it adds to the tomatoes and you've got loads of them when you're finished. If you want to upgrade to premium, it's got charts and calendar, which is really cool as well for those who want to just take it to that next level. So next up is an iOS app and it's called Not Boring Timer. This is actually part of a suite of different productivity apps like a calculator, a weather app, and they are just really well-designed apps with a fun user interface. This one is called Not Boring Timer. It's not boring, it's over very beautiful and has a really nice typeface where you can just start the timer and get going on it. To be honest, it isn't necessarily fully designed for Pomodoro, but at the same time, it's fun, interactive, and easy to use, and it comes with a beautiful design. If you want to upgrade, I believe the one-off price is $14.99, which is steep for a one-off, but you get loads of different typefaces, little animations, interactions that make the experience fun. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more fun orientated, then this is a great app for that. So number seven is Flow. Now I really like this one. It's more of a calm, mindful timer that you will like to use if you just want to zen out and you want to get into that state. It has analytics, it has good customization of your timer, but most importantly, it's clutter free and really easy to use. The app comes on a few different devices, mainly iOS and Mac, and it's got a web version as well. It's very easy to use, helps you to block apps in the premium and just helps you uh, get into the state of flow, which this app does very well. So very much similar to Sessions in a lot of ways and Sessions also has distraction blocking as well in the premium. So number eight is Pomodoro. It's not got an O on the end, it's Pomodoro like that. And it sounds uh, really nice, but actually it's a very, very basic app. It's a web app which helps you to keep track of your Pomodoro sessions in a very basic manner. It's not gonna do much more. It's got a login with settings where you can customize it slightly, a light mode and a dark mode, and a way to start and stop breaks, but that's really it. So if you're not worried about what app you use, and you use Chrome or web, or whatever browser it is, you'll like this one. So number nine is called Focus To Do. Now this one's incredibly popular on Android, but it comes on all devices, which is great news. The app is really approachable. It combines to-dos with Pomodoro, and it has loads of analytics, streaks, and data to really break down how you're spending your time. Now it's really nice because it comes with great widgets on Google Play and on iOS as well. A lot of people like that, and it's one of the highest rated Android Pomodoro timers on the market. So it's well worth considering if you're an Android user. This is probably my choice if you're somebody that is very adamant you want to stay on Android, or not adamant you want to stay on Android, you want to use Android as your go-to system, but you also want to use it on Windows and Mac at the same time if you have those devices. That's what it's nice about it, is it's probably the best desktop combined with a mobile app that's out there for Pomodoro. So again, a great consideration. So those were all of my Pomodoro timer recommendations. There are loads, loads more. I probably missed a fair few. Feel free to share it in the comments below and I will dive into them for sure. But if you want more productivity tools and resources, you can go over to toolfinder.co to explore loads of them. Thank you so much for stopping by in today's video and I look forward to seeing you in a future one. Cheerio for now.